Honest Abe here at uh, Go for Dunes Mud Fest. <laughs> this is what I look like. Honest Abe here, bringing you another review. I'm out here today with my 92 Jeep, and tomorrow there's a mud bug, so we're gonna try something a little different. I've got some Rust-Oleum Never Wet. I'm doing this review thanks to Jeff. Jeff drives the Rednecker, and now he drives Rednecker too. Jeff tells me he put uh, some of this on the seats of his Rednecker 2 truck. So I'll be doing part of my review at the Mud Bog, and I'll be checking out his seats, and I'm going to do a little review of my own right here. Okay, you've had that on there for a year. <laughs> Still has a rough, rough texture to it, doesn't it? Oh, it's starting to soak in right there a little bit, eh? Yeah, it gets through the spots where your butt wears it out. Yeah, but that's a year. Okay. It'd be interesting to see if the water will run off of it later on yet. on there. Okay. Is it working? Yep. I didn't want to pour my coffee on there in case it ran right in. Yeah, there it goes. And that's, a, well, that's not bad. Just in the seams is where yep. it's starting to sink in. Uh, Never Wet is a two-stage process. Step one, paint this on and leave it for a half an hour. And step two, paint that on and let it dry for a half an hour before you subject it to any water or mud or anything else. So I'm going to do that now, starting with step one. So I must warn you, what I've seen on videos and what it says on the instructions is that after you're done with uh, putting this on, it's going to leave it hazy, so you don't want to do this on a good surface. I painted this on last year. The biggest problem I have with this is that uh, we get out in the mud bog and after one or two mud pits, they can't read my mud or funder sign anymore. Got to get this cleaned up. Right. I've already cleaned this uh, area of the body and I really don't care about overspray on anything. On this, I just uh, want a nice coating on here, and I'm going to go do the other side the same. And these are the boots that I'm going to be wearing for the mud fest. I didn't really uh, clean those boots up; they've been fairly dirty already, and I just wiped them up with this uh, brush. Wiped them down nice. And it's kind of a suede material, so let's see what it does to it. Alright, wait for half an hour for step two. Okay, step two, I'm going to have to spray this on after I get a shuck up. And my bad, I got uh, some runs in it here. I tried to wipe some of the runs off as best as I could. And it also says do not soak the surface. Put on light coats and that's why you want uh, three to four coats on it. By the time I get around to the other side and uh, get my boots done, should be about time to do a second coat here. Coat number two. Coat number three. I've got two coats of step one and three coats of step two. And it feels pretty dry already, but uh, it's not going to see any mud until tomorrow at the mud fest. So. It'll have lots of time to dry. 
I stopped at three coats because if I compare what's in step number one can and can number two, if I was to put any more coats of this on, I would run out of this long before I run out of this. Maybe give us two cans of these. And there's my boots, and you can see the discoloring on there. For some reason it looks like some of this didn't get coated, but uh, I did coat everything evenly, and uh, well, we'll see how it holds up tomorrow. After the first mud pit, all that never wet is working. I like it. new boots. I haven't even been in the mud with them yet. No? No. Can you make them up the <laughs> No. Well, I can put them right there. Alright, see how muddy we get. I'll be surprised if that runs right off my boots. Okay, so in comparison to my hat and my shades, and my shades up there, my boots actually look pretty good. Fest, but right there you can see where the never wet was sprayed on it kind of left the paint a little bit uh, white and glazed over but you can still read the lettering okay I don't know if that's gonna rinse itself off of there yet but it almost looks like it's trying to stick to it I guess we'll see once the rain stops what happens with that so you can see the whole entire Jeep is uh, quite dirty mud stuck on everywhere except right there where the never wet was. And then this is the other side. Here behind the Jeep I've got my boots and I haven't done anything with those either since the mud fest and I didn't want rain pouring into the top there so I'm going to leave these out here in the rain for a while. It's kind of slowed down now and if you look up in the sky, still looking pretty gray. We got 
put that much water in the yard right now. I'll get back to you once it rains more and these get soaking wet. Or never wet. Okay, it's uh, two weeks and one day since the mud fest. And there's the never wet on the side of the Jeep. I'm going to try and uh, get a good shot of the water bouncing off the Neverwet. I can see it pretty clear from here. I hope you can see it on the video. The rain's slowing down now. And this is the other side here. But, uh, that part looks pretty dry. And I've had these boots out here now for about a week. And I believe we'd had uh, four days of that was rain. Not 100% on the boots, but boy, a whole lot better than they were. So this is my hat and my shades from the mud fest. Still all muddy. And don't you think my boots should look uh, about the same as that after going through the same mud holes? This is the first time I've ever been to uh, mud fest and my socks were dry when I came home. That's awesome.